Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about solving problems involving sample size determination. Let us imagine that you own a fast food company. You are doing a survey to get an idea of how long customers stay in a restaurant. In the past two years, it was observed that the standard deviation of the time the stay in a restaurant is 12 minutes. So, how many people do you need to observe so that the desired margin of error will not be more than 3 minutes with a confidence level of 95%? Okay, so what are the given data? So, yun muna ang kukunin natin. The confidence level is 95%. So, therefore, the corresponding confidence coefficient is 1.96. Okay? And the margin of error is 3. The standard deviation is 12. So, ang una natin gagawin is to compute the sample size. Okay, first, apply the formula for uh, getting the sample size and that is the squared of the confidence coefficient times the standard deviation over the margin of error. So, substitute the given data. So, 1.96 times 12 over 3 squared. And that is equivalent to 61.47. Since sample size ito, so kailangan natin kunin yung uh, nearest whole number. So the, therefore, the sample size is equal to 62. Okay, what if class kapag ang margin of error natin ay mas mababa sa 3? Let's say, yung margin of error natin is less than or equal to 2. So, Meron kaya yung epekto sa number ng sample size natin? Okay, so yan ay sasagutin natin. After natin makompute yung less, kapag yung margin of error natin ay less than or equal to 2. So, substituting on the formula again, so ang papalitan lang natin is yung margin of error natin, so gawin na natin 2. So, that is 1.96 times 12 over 2 squared. And that is equal to 138.30. So, tingnan natin. At uh, 138.30, so sabi ko nga sa inyo, kunin natin yung nearest whole number. So, N is equal to 139. So, ano yung na-observe natin, class? Tumaas yung sample size natin. Okay? Nung binabaan natin yung margin of error, tumaas yung sample size natin. So, let's try. Tingnan pa natin na mas mababa pa sa 2. Okay, tingnan natin kapag ang margin of error natin ay mas mababa pa sa 2. So, let's say yung margin of error natin is less than or equal sa 1. And that is, okay, so substitute sa ating formula, 1.96 times 12 divide 1 squared. And that is equivalent to 138. Okay, so that is equivalent to 553.19 or that is 554. Okay, so mas tumaas yung sample size nung mas binabaan natin yung margin of error. So, take note class na kapag yung margin of error natin gets smaller, the sample size gets larger. Or you can say that one way to minimize the errors by increasing the sample size. So, the same variation will be applied if the margin of error increases. Okay? So, kapag nag increase ito, so, bumababa yung, ano natin, yung sample size. No? Kabaliktaran lang nito. Okay, paano naman kapag yung confidence level, no? yung ano natin, yung confidence level, yung... Uh, gagawin natin kapag ginalaw natin yung confidence level ano kayang epekto nito sa sample size natin so kanina as uh, base sa problem natin kapag 95% confidence level yung sample size natin is 62 paano kapag mas mababa sa 95% let's say 90% so kung 90% yan the corresponding confidence coefficient is 1.645 so Ito yung ipapalit natin ngayon. No? So, using the formula, that is 1.645 times 12 divide 3 squared. So, yung 12 at 2, 3 yan pa din, ang papalitan lang natin is yung 
uh, confidence coefficient natin. So, what will be the answer? The answer is 43.33 or the sample size is 44. So, anong napansin nyo? Nung binabaan natin yung sample, uh, uh, yung mar confidence level natin, bumaba din yung sample size. Okay? So, nakita nyo yung class ha? Nung bumaba yung confidence level, bumaba din yung sample size. So, tingnan pa natin sa isa. No? Mag-try pa tayo ng isa. 80% confidence level. So, the corresponding uh, confidence coefficient ng 80% is 1.28. So, therefore, therefore, uh, kapag sinaptitute natin, so that is 1.28 times 12 divide 3 squared. And that is equivalent to 26.21 or the sample size is 27. So, ibig sabihin class, kapag bumababa yung confidence level natin, bumababa din yung sample size. Okay? So, tatandaan natin, no? The sample size gets smaller as your level of confidence decreases. So, kapag pataas yung uh, ano natin, pag tumataas yung confidence level natin, tumataas din yung sample size natin. So, factors affecting sample size determination. So, there are three factors that influence the sample size determination. First, the level of confidence. Second, the population standard deviation. And third, the margin of error. So, among these factors, only two are under the researcher's control. First, the margin of error. Since no sample will be perfect, so you need to decide how much error to allow. So, the confidence interval determines this. So, the less error you're willing to accept, the bigger the sample size needs to be. Confidence level, this determines how certain you want to be that the parameter falls within your confidence interval. So, most common confidence intervals are 90%, 95%, 99%. So, the more confident you want to be, the bigger the sample size needs to be. So, for example, a researcher found that the IQ score of the AL students in the division of Quezon Province are normally distributed with a mean of 110 and the standard deviation of 10. So, for letter A, how many AL students are needed to test so that the estimate will not be more than 5 from the population mean with 99% uh, level of confidence? So, letter B, Due to limited contact with all students, the researchers tested a small number of all students. So, explain the effect of this small sample on the estimate of the parameter. So, first, sagutin muna natin yung letter A. So, what are the given data? So, the confidence level is 99%. Therefore, the degree of confidence or the confidence coefficient is 2.58. And then, the margin of error is 5 and the standard deviation is 10. So using the for, apply the formula for computing the sample size, okay? And then substitute. So 2.58 times 10 divide 5 squared. And that is equivalent to 26.63 or our sample size is 27. So ibig sabihin, uh, sagot natin for letter A is 27. So 27 ang kailangang as student. Okay, so letter B, paano kapag mas uh, konting lang na sample size no? ang, ang kailangan natin o yung estimate na sample size? So, ano yung epekto nun? So, ano yung sagot natin dyan? A sample size that is too small. So, ibig sabihin, masyadong mababa to. It reduces the power to estimate the IQ score of IQ students in the division of Quezon. It also increases the margin of error of the estimate. Tama po yun, no? Kasi, sabi nga kanina, once na mas mababa yung sample size, so, ibig sabihin, tumataas yung margin of error natin. Okay? Another example, a confidence interval estimate has a maximum error of 2.50. So, if the distribution of the data where the estimate is obtained is normal with the standard deviation of 9. For letter A, 
So, how many samples are considered in 98% confidence interval estimate for the mean? For letter B, what must be done to the sample size to reduce the margin of error of the confident interval estimate? So, first, so what are the given data? So, the level of confidence is 98% and the corresponding confidence coefficient is 2.33. So, the margin of error is 2.50 and the standard deviation is 9. So, apply the formula of getting the sample size. So, that is 2.33 times 9 over 2.50 squared. And that is equivalent to 70.36 or 71. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung kailangan nating bilang no, na samples to consider the 98% confidence interval estimate for the mean. So, 71 samples. So, paano naman ang gagawin natin sa B? So, what must be done to the sample size to reduce the margin of error of the confident interval estimate? So, anong gagawin natin sa sample size para ma-reduce yung margin of error natin? Of course, kanina, di ba, sinabi ko sa inyo, na kapag tumataas yung margin of error anong nangyayari sa sample size kapag bumababa yung margin of error anong gin nangyayari sa sample size so yan ang kailangan natin i-apply kay letter B so increases the number of samples so as the sample size gets larger the margin of error gets smaller so ibig sabihin mas marami kang let's say nag uh, re research ka mas marami kang respondents mas bumababa yung ano natin no yung margin of error natin okay thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.